Okay. Um, as you can see, this is by Capcom, and it's part of their 1940 series of uh, World War II shoot 'em ups. Except this one's called 19XX, which uh, was because they wanted to give it a bit more of a futuristic uh, story. But it's still, uh, you don't really kind of get that to the later levels. It still kind of starts off pretty much like World War II, shooting other airplanes and. Although there are, you know, there are sort of more advanced craft, here you get to see that you get a choice of um, three planes and so it's, it's kind of like um, the common game principle of a, uh, you know, like a, a fast, weak plane, a, a slow, powerful plane and the, uh, and the medium guy, Mr. Allrounder in between. I always go with uh, the um, slow, powerful one. And you can see here the ship that your uh, your supply ship gets taken out by a stealth bomber, and um, that's an interesting part of the game. That stealth bomber is like a recurring character in the game, uh, and as you can see, this game has excellent graphics, really colourful, nice explosions, great sound effects, awesome music. Like if you look at this mm. stage, you see the detail in the um, yeah in the background there, like the little islands and little ships going through that channel and volcanic island there. Now and you're game, the king of these games, a... Pete. Is this a hard game <laughs> for a shoot 'em up? Yeah, it's pretty hard. Vertical. It's like maybe not as hard as it's not quite in the bullet hell kind of. Um, it's still it's damn hard. Like it gets harder and harder at each level. Like this level is ridiculously easy. Like actually. Like I'm already it's up in the first boss, it's, it's fairly, it's fairly like two minutes in. Hard yeah. if you only let it be. Sorry, Jay. Harder if you let it be. You say. Nah, I said a shump is only hard if you let it be. Yeah, I that's what it's like. So hard, yeah. Jay. See if you think that's easy. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if I'd agree with that. Cause some shoot 'em ups are just hard, no matter who you are. But um, that's um, none of. Not necessarily. I mean, I didn't play games uh, like Galact uh, Galactic Attack, and then um, other ones. I mean, other ones in particular, like uh, Radiant Silver Gun. And it's like, like I said, it's like you know, you just have to, you just have to be focused with these type of games. Because if you're not focused, if you don't have a clear mindset, and then it's like if you don't have yeah. good reflexes, the game is really gonna kick your ass. No lie. Hmm. But some I'm games are hard to others. Yeah. But this game will, will get you in, in situations where you'll quite often um, be thinking, like, how the hell could I have avoided all that? But you can't blame the controls. The controls in this game are, are beautiful. It's so good to control. And it's it's got the uh, the other part about the gameplay that I really love. It's like, I don't know if you kind of noticed so far already, that you can, um, on the large enemies, you can shoot out a, like, you hold down the fire button and you shoot out a little uh, lock-on. And then once it's locked on, you see, you see a kind of cursor on the enemy and a, a trail of like green, really fast green missiles just home in on that on that lock-on. The great thing about that is it kind of gives it a little bit of strategy as well. It's um, like if you lock on to, to something then move to the other side, anything that crosses the path that those uh, green missiles will get or you know, the smaller enemies will just get wiped out straight away so you can kind of use a bit of strategy how you stretch that um, that lock-on trailer out from one side of the screen to the other. I need things like that in pretty games like this, otherwise I kind of get bored, I found. Yeah, that, that's because when I used to play this game in the arcades, I couldn't get enough of it because of that. It just got, it keeps you stimulated the whole time you're playing at it. Like, yeah. oh, should I lock onto to that enemy there or uh, <laughs> um, wait for the for the next one? That like, when, you know, once you get kind of used to the pattern, you know. Kind of, know what's coming up so sometimes it's, there's a bit of a decision whether to like you know here I'm going to lock onto this um, this big ship that goes up the middle of the channel as much as possible because it's a really uh, annoying little it shits out these kind of missiles that when you hit the missiles they split up into a big bullet spray so he's, you really want to get rid of him as fast as possible so keep your lock-ons on him yep and it's got a nice little weapon upgrade system too. It's not too um, crate like too over the top, like say um, 
first raid where it takes about you know 10 power ups or whatever to get to full power this one you can get up to up to full power like on about the third grab power up and uh, not <coughs> come up to the second boss here so big uh, bit harder this one battle cruiser yeah it gets a bit harder than the first boss is just like the whole first level is more like a practice level it doesn't really I don't really count it as a proper level it's yeah it's you'd, to die, you'd have to really suck to die in the first level <laughs> but yeah this guy starts to give you a bit more of a challenge you know some pretty and as you can see there I um the other thing I used to love about this game is that the the smart bombs are um, are chargeable as well which I thought was nice to when I first realized I don't Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't realise it at the, at the time, like I just figured it out accidentally when I was playing it in the arcades. It might have said it on the instructions, I don't know, but I just used to just play a lot of different shoot 'em ups and not really take too much, you know, just like playing for fun and, and I, I just I think I just accidentally worked out one day that yeah, you, if you leave your um your finger down on the on the on the smart bomb, it's uh, you'll see that it starts to build up a, a level gauge. So the first press will actually yep. like if you're um if you need an emergency evasion, the first press of the of, of the smart bomb will still clear all the bullets off the screen, and then you can try and leave it to charge up as long as possible. If, if you let it charge up all the way, it'll eventually go off by itself, or you can just let go of the button at any time you want, and uh, that will that's cool. release it, no matter what 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 level it's on. So you can so you can actually get to you can save your life twice with every smart bomb, which is a really yeah. uh, important strategy and a really fun part of the game too, something that kind of unique at the time. I don't remember seeing any uh, other game before or up to that time that, that had a, a gameplay innovation like that. Yeah, I'm used to smart bombs, just, you just use them and that's it, like you just press mm. the button. Yeah, I think maybe one or two other games kind of copied that idea later or, or yeah, found their own variations on it, but um, yeah, if, if this was the yeah. first game to do it, I'm, I don't really know for sure, but it's the first one that I remember back in the uh, in the arcades. See, Obviously, like yeah, out, most eh? games, nice cutscenes as well. Yeah, this is a real screen shake. This, this is a really cool bit here. Like just going going along this normal sort of jungle level, and then you get to the top of this waterfall, and this huge helicopter comes out. And now you see that you start um, <laughs> flying backwards down the face of the waterfall. Kind of, it's not very realistic, <laughs> yeah. like an aeroplane flying backwards, but still, it's just really innovative um, level design for for this kind of game. And yeah, when you think vertically yeah, scroll and shoot them up, you normally think, yeah, you normally think, yeah, it's just going to scroll vertically the whole time, not not get to a point and then start scrolling backwards, and then and then uh, down the bottom here, I think it's um, I'm sure just yeah, it no, keeps going down a bit further, but eventually scrolls to one side as well, and then start you know sort of sideways and diagonally a bit and then back up up to normal vertical scrolling. Um, graphic is really amazing. I was not telling so much, I was a bit taking uh, uh, also care of the chat. Um, I love the explosions here. Yeah. They look so good. Oh, I hit. You see there's that, that stealth bomber come back again to haunt me, the one that took out my um, original supply ship. And then you know, like he, he, he never, he never dies like during those little fights. You, you sort of see he, he takes a certain amount of damage and then he just flies away. Yeah, this is a really heavy uh, tank battle through here. I love this bit. Just like tanks and stuff everywhere. Awesome music, this bit. But yeah, I, I just love the whole music in this game. Like I don't know if it's, it's the best music in the series, but. Um, I don't know, because I played this game so much in the arcade, uh, it always um, takes me back when I hear the music as well. <laughs> and um, coming up towards the, uh, the last boss for this video, not the last boss of the game though, this is only level 3, there's still three, le three more levels in the game. And here he is here, and I get a bit... Um, after my perfect run so far, I get a bit uh, 
messed up by this guy. He's pretty, uh, pretty hectic. Yeah. <laughs> nice explosions, eh? Yeah. Explosions are awesome in this game. Yeah. That's a good Neo Geo. Yeah, you can see he starts to, like, just... Sorry? Neo Geo? No, this is Capcom Arcade. Oh, Where you yeah, you're true. To the Neo Geo. You're right. I thought the same thing before, Tarek. Yeah, 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 because, you know, <laughs> I, 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 for me, for me, everything that looks like this is automatically a Neo Geo. But, of course, it was yeah, the CBS. <laughs> Fanboy. <laughs> no, yeah. Capcom knows how to make a nice shoot em up, so you don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, that was me and Integer playing, yeah, it's next Shredder playing 90XX, mate. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's... 19xx, the war against destiny from uh, Capcom in 1996 for the arcade, and as far as I know, it's never been ported. So if you want to play it, you'll have to either find it, find it in an arcade somewhere, or get your mame on. Thanks, guys. Or buy, buy it on arcade. Good work, Pete.